But how long will the world let Russia be like this? This is the main question today. The longer this Russian aggression against the rules-based world order continues, the greater are the changes it provokes. Perhaps, perhaps people will have to live in a world where local wars will not remain local. Any outbreak of a war risks turning into a global catastrophe. Putin's years, years of self-isolation and his impunity have led to the, his complete degradation. Absolutely. He, he now openly justifies Hitler absolving him of responsibility for World War II. And he has made the genocide of our people just an ordinary part of his policy. Putin kills whoever he wants, be it an opposition leader or anyone else who seems at the target exactly to him. After the murder of Alexei Navalny, it's absurd to perceive Putin as a supposedly legitimate head of a Russian state. And he is a thug who maintains power through corruption and violence, coming to his so-called inauguration, shaking his hand, considering him an equal means to disdain the very nature of political power. One may have different attitudes towards international institutions, but the International Criminal Court's warrant for Putin's arrest for kidnapping and forced deportation of children from Ukraine clearly demonstrates where Putin's so-called career should end. He has only two options ahead, to be in the dog in The Hague or to be killed by one of his accomplices who are now killing for him. Destroying the source of wars and destabilizations in our key task, it is fair. First, we all must do not, do not something but everything possible to defeat the aggressor. Please, everyone remember that dictators do not go on vacation. Hatred knows no pause. Enemy artillery does not fall silent due to procedural issues. Warriors standing against the aggressor need sufficient strength. Second, we should not fear Putin's defeat. Putin is a threat to all free nations. And yes, for those who still haven't heard, Putin is the monster who invaded Ukraine and killed thousands and thousands of people and kidnapped and deported at least tens of thousands of Ukrainian children. But that's not all. Putin butchered Chechens and Syrians, invaded Georgia, ordered the execution of his opponents both outside the walls of the Kremlin and in the, in the heart of London and Berlin. And yes, yes. Just yesterday, he tried to send us all a clear message at the Munich Security Conference opened. Putin murdered another opposition leader. So please, let's not fear Putin's defeat and the destruction of his regime. Let's instead work together to destroy what he stands for. It is his fate to lose, not the fate of the rules-based world order to vanish. If we don't defeat Putin now, it won't eventually matter who is, who is the president of Russia. Because every new Russian dictator will remember how to maintain power by annexing the lands of the peoples, killing opponents, and destroying the world order. If this happens, Europe Central Asia and the whole world will be a very dark place. Third, we must close all 
loopholes in the sanctions against Russia. And there should be no sectors of the Russian economy involved in this aggression, aggression that are still free for sanctions. This particularly relates to the nuclear sector. Also, Russian assets that are already frozen should be confiscated. And we need to go further, find, freeze, and securely pacify every dollar accumulated by Putin and his friends. Fourth, evil will never prevail if the forces of good are united and act together. History has proven it many, many times. When empires of evil and tyranny, which seemed internal, crumbled right in front of our eyes, and this increased the space of freedom in the world. And the bolder, bolder and more active America was, along with the others on the right side of history, the more successful freedom was. The world would have long been divided among the dreams of a few dictatorships if it was not the American dream which always left enough space for people dreams. Major decisions happening in unity of the whole world with the United States. And finally, fifths. Putin must be deprived of any ability to manipulate, to manipulate anyone in the world, to constrain the activity of the others. The world has a document that defines the basic rules of coexistence of nations, the charter of the UN. Russia disregards it. Ukraine has offered the world a peace formula based on the principles and norms of the UN Charter. We have managed to unite representatives of all parts of the world to work on the peace formula and to develop details regarding the organization of the first global peace summit. The summit is planned in Switzerland and there the world must decide how to restore the full strength of the rule-based world order almost destroyed by Russia. Please, do not ask Ukraine when the war will end. Ask yourself, why is Putin still able to continue it? I thank you very much for invitation, thanks for attention, and uh, for very expression of support of our state, of course, of our people, our children. Uh, and please be grateful to our warriors, and may our world based on rules never become the world of yesterday. Slava Ukraini.